Actually, that uh, Ansera first has been discovered by the two professors from the Nottingham University. They have discovered there's a natural bacteria on the sugar cane that naturally fixing the nitrogen. Then, by considering also the different challenges in the world, like all these climatical changes, like fertilizer problems, nitrogen, then they have decided to work and they discover more, how to use this bacteria for the whole entire farmer in the world. This is how the story has been started, actually. Actually, that Ansera, after having all these uh, different, let's say, the laboratory studies and the developing the product, then first launch and the commercialize the product in North America, like in US, United States, and the Canada. And it's so far that the farmer from United States and the Canada, that we have a great response from the farmer, like for corn, for potato, for sugar beet, for sunflower, for oyster drape, that we have received very positive feedback in terms of yield enhancement, in terms of healthiness of crop, in terms of quality of the production of the plant. That's why now that we are expanding the Ensera market presence from North America to the rest of the world, in Europe, in Asia, in Africa continent as well. Yeah, actually all these results is coming from the hundreds of trials so far that we have done it, such as, for instance, corn. Corn that we are getting the very positive response from the farmer by saying that, okay, my plant looks much healthier, my plant gives a much bigger root mass, my plants giving the much more yield versus the common practice. This is corn. Potato, it's a great. Potato is directly is giving a quite, quite good response to Ensera, which Ensera increasing the yield significantly. This is the main uh, benefit of Ensera when the farmer, potato farmer is using. Same for oyster rape, same for wheat. Actually that we all have a different response from the different crop, but at the end, the key thing for the farmer is return on investment. They are investing in Sera and they are returning the yields and making the additional money and the benefits out of from Ansera usage. Good, I mean, the Ansera has uh, some different features, like the how we are differentiating ourselves. Ansera can be used either in floral or seed or foliar application. Most of the similar product does not have this type of many different application methods, but Ansera has it. So, this is one. The second thing is Ensera is definitely, definitely is different than the rest of the product. Ensera is the only product that living in the plant cell and fixing the nitrogen in the plant cell. There is no any other product like Ensera working within the plant cell. Actually, in the Poland uh, is one of the really key countries in the Europe, within the Europe that producing quite significant amount of corn, quite significant amount of wheat, quite significant amount of potato, vegetables, oyster rape. So, the Ensera perfectly work on this crop and helping the growers in terms of increasing their yields, in terms of increasing their quality, and in terms of also making them align with all the sustainability protocols and the regulation by the Europe, uh, by putting put it by the European authorities. That's why Ensera is very much fit with the with the Polish farmer as well. Mainly, it's the increasing the yield in a bit sustainable way in a bit natural way, in a bit uh, also that the reducing the their farm inputs by using Ansera instead of 
many, let's say, the kind of different synthetic nitrogen. That's why Ancera is one of the, will be the, one of the really, uh, let's say, the key inputs for the, for the Polish farmer by having all these features. Gliconobacter, which is the active bacteria of the Ancera, and the Gliconobacter, as I said, isolated from the sugarcane naturally, and the Gliconobacter is, 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 has a uniqueness in terms of difference mode of action that in fixing the nitrogen within the plant cell, none of the any nitrogen fixing bacteria doing this one. And this fixing the nitrogen within the cell gives a big benefit and efficiency in terms of the produced uh, fixed nitrogen by use the plant versus others. This is the, our unique differences between Ancera and the rest of the other nitrogen fixing bacteria. That we are doing the, all this compatibility test in-house. We have a dedicated team for this one in our R&D center in York, in UK, and they are doing all this compatibility test. And I would say, except few uh, very minor active ingredient, the ingredients of the crop protection product, yes, Ensera is very much compatible with the all crop protection inputs like herbicide, like fungicide, like insecticide. Only the few uh, active is not really suitable. But the most, that definitely answer is compatible to make the tanks mixes for the farmer to, to, to make that make them easy uh, application on the farm. In terms of fertilizer, in general, yet we are not really recommending to mix with the traditional fertilizer. Is the main thing is here is the sal salinity, which is the most of the fertilizer is really high salinity, and the mixing with the common or uh, the, uh, let's say the generic fertilizers that could be the risky. Always that we need to be careful. But for crop protection product, definitely that we are quite uh, sure. Uh, based on the, our own study for the, uh, for the compatibility. Very simple, increase the productivity by increasing the yield, increase the quality, and also the being the really aligned with the, all these farm to fork green deal, sustainability and the carbon credit system. And Sarah is very much fit because of these three reasons yield enhancement, quality, and the fit with the environment.